What's happening YouTube? Welcome back to another photo vlog. This week's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more about travel photography or, or telling a story or creating a photo set with your photography. I wasn't in the city, I was up in the mountains and I felt like I should just give you a heads up first. Also stick around for the end of the video because I got some of my best photos after I stopped filming. So I'll talk about them and how I made them at the end of the video. You now want a tiny house or a converted van? I don't want to live in it permanently, I want it for a vacation. Alright, well when we move west, we'll buy a van and we'll convert it. Melissa and I came up to the Catskill Mountains for the weekend to go hiking and just kind of like decompress from the city. I would love to shoot some landscape photos while we're up here, but we're hiking during the day and that's not really the point of the trip. The lights got good now, which is later in the day. We're finished hiking and we're just hanging out at our little tiny house Airbnb that we got, which is pretty cool. I might just try and kind of make a photo shoot of this thing and see, see how that comes out. The sun is setting like behind the camera right now and I feel like in about 15 minutes it's going to be soft enough that I can just start photographing the tiny house and it should look pretty cool. Alright, starting off with a nice wide shot just to sort of set the scene. There we go, simple shot here. One thing that I noticed was that the colours of the trees were kind of overpowering the, the actual house itself. So I desaturated a lot of the yellows and the greens in this. So it maybe looks a little different from my normal edits, but I actually quite liked it. And moving in a little closer here, I want to take a picture of this wheel as like a detail shot. It doesn't stand alone as its own picture, but it would go well in like a photo set of the house. The shower's outside though. That's, that's kind of weird, but kind of liberating in the morning. Ah, I got a tick. All right, time out from shooting because I've got a tick on my foot. All right, now that I've got the tick off my foot, I turned my attention to Melissa. I was trying to make her pose for me in this hammock thing. Took a little portrait of her there. Took a few. This was my favorite one though. And then I wanted to show this bathroom, but in a way that wasn't just a simple picture of a porta potty. And this, I quite like this with the, the window from the house. It's kind of like a, not a reflection, but it just sort of blocks off the side of the picture and draws your eye in towards the bathroom. Trying to make a creative picture of a toilet is not exactly easy. And then I get this picture here of Melissa hanging out in the hammock. It looks kind of like a lifestyle shot. Again, I had to desaturate all those greens and yellows, but I really liked how this picture came out. It's probably one of my favorites of the whole set. And then sort of making a, not really a detail shot, but kind of a, just something to show that there's an outside shower, which was a really cool thing in the mornings. Definitely would suck if it was cold out, but it was nice and warm, so we were fine. Next thing I'm trying to get up close to this like yellow power strip thing. Not a picture I would use in a photo set. I just kind of liked the texture, but it was kind of an interesting shot. Going out to the entrance, I wanted to get a shot of the sign here. It just says cube. It sort of shows you where to go when you're arriving. Again, fit would fit in nicely with a photo set of the area. And take a walk down the road past the building here and shooting it through the trees, trying to show it a little bit more in its environment. And then I sort of run out of ideas and I turn my attention to Melissa because she's hanging out in this little sort of a bay window that the bed is in. She's just reading, reading her micro house book. And then moving around a bit to the window at the other side, I tried to shoot through the banister here. This picture came out okay. It's got nice light, but I don't really love the composition. Inside the house, as you can see, it's an absolute mess. So the only thing I shot was her in the window. And this one here is one of my favorites. It just looks really relaxed. I did Photoshop out the car. If I hadn't told you, you probably would never have noticed it there. And then getting in a little bit closer, I think it started to make her feel a little bit awkward. I took a whole bunch of portraits of her here, but this one was my favorite. Just trying to work the scene a little bit. I'm sort of changing angles. She's doing a good job of ignoring me. I cut her toes off there, which really annoys me. Quite like this one though. I like the soft light coming through and the gesture with her hand. Moving further back to get a wide shot. Now this shot I really love. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if it's the really dark areas at the top and the bottom 
the fact that she's backlit, there's like just this like soft light coming through. Um, I can't fully explain what I love about it. It just it, it, this is one of my favourites of the of the whole of the whole day. And this one, I'm trying to get more of a detail shot here, so just her flipping through the book. I feel like the micro shelters thing says a little bit about the place that we're in. And so it's a micro shelter. And then I thought I'd try and shoot from the top down, looking through this like skylight here. Um, it's really dirty though, so it comes out kind of it comes out a lot softer and kind of almost painterly like. And then I'm back to shooting through the glass again. I think I put a polarizer on at this point to get rid of some of the glare. These pictures came out okay, but um, nothing too crazy. I, I like most of the other ones much better than this. So that was it for the parts of the video that I filmed. But on our way up there on the Friday night, we got a really cool sunset, but we were just kind of like lost looking for a place that we could grab some food. And we happened to stop in the car park of this supermarket that was closed. And I just jumped out the car and shot a photo of this Burger King right here. And really I was only looking for the sunset and just I tried to find what looked like the best sort of building or whatever to make a subject from it. I photoshopped out a few lights and signs and stuff at the sides just to kind of simplify it out. But I think it looks really cool for taking a picture of a Burger King. I feel like maybe a sunset just makes everything look great. But anyways, pretty happy with that picture. The absolute best one that I got was I woke up at like 2.30 in the morning and I looked outside and saw there was a ton of stars out. It was a little bit brighter than I would have liked on the horizon but it was only going to get brighter so I took what I could get. I've never made a picture like this before. What I did was set the camera up on the tripod and I took an exposure for the stars. It was like a 15 second exposure and I took a second exposure at exactly the same settings but I shone the flashlight on the side of the house along the grass and on the trees and the reason I had to combine them was you can see the beam of light going up into the sky, which I obviously didn't want in the picture. I just wanted the, the, the house to be in, to be lit up. So then I brought in a Photoshop, masked out the sky so that I could only see the house and then had the, the, sky, the first exposure of the sky in the background. I got this super cool picture and I, I really like this. I don't think it's the kind of picture that I would get the chance to make that often since I live in the city and I can't really see the stars most of the time but definitely whenever I go camping, whenever I stay somewhere where there's dark skies, I'm gonna start making pictures like this. When I visit Scotland, we've got nice dark skies there, so I'll be able to take loads of pictures like this. So that's it for this one. Not my usual kind of video, but definitely something I would like to make more of, because I like getting out of the city, I like getting into the country, going hiking and doing all that sort of stuff. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Yeah.